Well, hello to everyone and welcome as you join us for the second of these group stage games. Competition only a couple of match days old, but there have been already plenty of talking points. Much for us to scrutinise over the course of a fortnight or so. Winners on day one, no doubt now, looking to cement their place in the latter stages as quickly as possible. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. So, having won on opening day, it's eyes forward on the missions that remain. Well, Peter, there's a very good chance they can play on after what was a good start. And even if they have a wobble along the way, I think this team has a structure and a philosophy that's solidly in place. And I think they can rely on that. So, my advice would be keep aiming high. Why not up for some swagger, in parts at least? I think they're capable of it. And that gets things running. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Fernandinho. He plays a crucial role, Peter, offensively and defensively. He's superb at breaking up opposition attacks, stepping in with a, an interception or a tackle. But then when he gets on the ball, he instantly switches to attack mode, looking up to see where his teammates are running and usually picking them out. He's hugely effective. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. And that has been cleared. Hoists it high. Well played, he saw that coming. Ericsson. Bernardo Silva. It's Gundogan. Gundogan tries a shot, and for a moment, time stood still. Brozovic battles to win it back, and it's Grealish. And here's Grealish. Grealish with a delicate ball. Grealish showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Stones does well there, alert. Hector Behrin takes control of it and he's on the move. Sensi. Into Milan, still to register a shot on target. Bastoni. Ericsson. Sensi. Back into the middle. Stones is there, and he can get that clear. Played out to the right. Bernardo Silva. Lovely bit of skill. In and a header! Oh, great save, real class. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. The Bruin plays it short. Oh, that's nice. To Bruin. 
a loose ball. And here's Silva. Gundogan plays a clever pass. Well read, he sorted that out. The Frey plays it forward quickly. That's some clever work on the flank. Yeah, they seem to be encouraging both fullbacks to ease inside, so we'll keep an eye on that to see if it if it all works out. Lukaku. Eriksen. And it's Hector Bellerin. Kyle Walker. And has it out wide now. Shot at goal! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. A 1-0 lead established. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Ake. Grealish. De Bruyne. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Kyle Walker. Okay. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. And the first half is done. There we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. And there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. And if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. The action has already resumed here. Inter don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. Brozovic. And that is as far as they're going to go. And here's Martinez, Lukaku. Martinez. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. And it's Eriks. Sterling, who has made his impact already. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Lobs it in gently. And they've been given a corner. Great leap! That's a half-decent try. Martinez did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Stones goes looking. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Brozovic. Eriksen looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Well, they know he's the... Martinez! A collective sigh of relief from the defence.
Gundogan. And here's Silva. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Ball's gone out of play. Brozovic gets it back. The Bruin knocks one in. Eriksson is the guilty party there. Brozovic. No, no way through there. And it's De Bruyne. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Perisic positions himself well and cuts it out. Hector Bellerin. Lukaku. Well positioned to make that interception. Kyle Walker. And now the breakaway. Martinez. Oh, shooting chance! And yes, it's there! Right back in it. Almost no time remaining. Game still on. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. That has certainly made things interesting. Inter surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one-way traffic for them now, and they simply have to capitalise on it. Ruben Diaz with the crossfield ball. And helps available out wide. Bernardo Silva. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Ruben Diaz. Fernandinho. Now it's Silva. He could be in here. Good clearance and very necessary. All this over the line. Manchester City have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Brozovic. Chip through. Stones gets into the right position to intercept. Fernandinho, Stokes, they seem to have lost, and that is it, the referee has seen enough. Passion and panache and perseverance, and in the end, parity, a really good game to watch. Your final thoughts, Jim? Listen, the more of this game...